this lesson, I will show you how to create a tie beam using slab edge. Um, when I go to architecture or structure, uh, I choose floor here. It will be generic floor 400 millimeters, but I will change uh, its material, structural material into uh, concrete. Concrete cast in place. Okay. Now I will draw some simple rectangle. It is just an example. And now, when I'm in a 3D view, I will choose floor, slab edge. Okay, now I will create a section through it. Let's see how it looks. I will increase the precision and change this, uh, change this material also into concrete cast in place. Okay, uh, and okay. Now uh, this, these two elements are joined. I will switch to shaded view and when I go to structure river there are no river shapes loaded so I will do this now I go to US metric structural uh, structural river shapes and load them all holding shift key right uh, but what if I wanted to change this profile profile of this slab edge I can create my own slab edge type by duplicating the existing one and create a rectangular shape. Okay. Uh, I don't have um, an interesting profile to choose from this list, so I will have to create uh, one by myself. So I will go to File, New, Family, and search for the correct template. I will choose metric profile. I will draw some lines, some closed loop, and for example, give it, it uh, some uh, values. It doesn't matter which one. Actually, you can parameterize it by creating a dimension. And assigning a label to them. Okay. And hide. Let's load it into the project and go back to our slab edge type. Now, from the list, I may choose family one that I just created. This is the profile family. Delete. Rebar can't be placed in a structural family unless its material type is concrete. Okay, so I will delete a rebar I created. It is not a problem. But first problem I occurred is that uh, there is a distance from this slab edge. Uh, so I may I may use this horizontal and vertical profile offsets in order to fix this. Horizontal profile offset should be minus minus uh, height minus width of this profile, right? And uh, the width of this profile is, let's check it in a project browser, search for a profile category, and look for the family one. The width is 260. I may also duplicate this family and create another uh, another dimension for example 300 x 500 right okay go back to the slab edge edit type and now choose family one but different type 
300, 500. I will choose horizontal profile offset into 300. Okay, so it's now directly under this element. And I can also change some vertical value into, for example, 100. Let's look at this in the section view. Now these two elements are joined. When I go to rebar, I actually can't place a rebar in this uh, in this tie beam. The problem is that uh, this profile is not assigned to the slab edges. So I will have to go to the family editor, family category and parameters, and there is an interesting option of profile usage. Now it's set to generic. Let me switch it to slab edge. I load it into the project, overwrite the existing version, and let's go back into the section once again. Now when I select a rebar, I may also place it in the tie beam area. We may change the uh, vertical profile offset in order to change this cover offset. So when I uh, go to 200, right, and go to rebar, now you can see that this two, uh, these two rebar, uh, rebar covers are aligning. 